Hey guys, my name is Ashley, and today I'm going to be teaching you all about the parts of the Western Saddle. Howdy, and welcome to the Bar SC Ranch, where you will experience our journey of running a family business, caring for animals, and doing life together. Subscribe now and be inspired here at the Bar SC. So now let's talk about some of the reasons we might want to know the parts of the saddle. Number one, of course, is gonna be so that you can talk with other horse professionals and horseback riders and sound like you know what you're talking about. Of course, in these conversations, if you're calling one thing the seat of the saddle and they're talking about something else entirely, you might kind of miss one another if you're having an important discussion about cleaning your tack or you know something that might be damaged on the tack. We need to know where we're talking about, when we're talking about it. We all have to be using the same language. Another reason why we might want to know the parts of the saddle is going to be if we want to work in the horse industry. If you go and you work for a horse trainer, you're working at a barn, and you don't know the difference, let's say, between a Western and an English saddle, you know, where the stirrups are going, where your latigo is, they're going to be less likely to hire you if they don't think that you have all the knowledge that you need to. So knowing the parts of your saddle is super important, and we're going to talk about them today, starting with the top of the saddle. So working our way from front to back, we have the horn, the pommel, the swell, the seat, and the cantle. And the last part of the top of our saddle is actually found at the front. It's called the gullet, and that's where our horse's shoulders and withers are going to sit. It's a very important part of your saddle to consider when thinking about saddle fit. So now, working our way down our saddle, we have our seat jockey, our conchos, our rear jockey, our saddle skirts, and our saddle strings. So now working even further down our saddle, we first come to our latigo keeper, our latigo, our fender, our stirrup, and our rear latigo. Now on the opposite side of our saddle, we first come to our off latigo, then our cinch, and our rear cinch. If your saddle doesn't have a rear cinch, that's totally fine. The western saddles don't have to have a rear cinch. But if yours does come with one, it'll look something like this. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this video helps you all learn maybe a few new parts of your Western saddle. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. If you enjoyed this video, we'd love to hear from you. Like and subscribe and leave comments about what you might like to see in future videos. We'll see you back on the ranch.